All right, making BB fun again. Excellent. It's that's certainly what NAF official does. I think he's got high L's. Nice kit. And he's gone dodge, 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 <laughs> dodge. <laughs> um, block and guard. So seven normals and one double. That's that is that is a lot of skills, isn't it? To be fair, it's tier two. Um, but then obviously my team is 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 similar in that it's got mighty blow for the double, three block, four blocks, two guard and a show of hands. So it should be interesting. Yeah, no more Dord vowels. Hello VIP Hesian as well, by the way. Yeah, there's the race specific cheerleaders are only orcs and dwarves. And you've you but you can have them on any team, you've just got to actually select them. So they're not they're not race specific, no. Hello VIP Mr. Yemen Dem. No, NAF is not the official champion league, no, no, they're uh, but it is the official NAF ladder. It is like fully endorsed by the NAF tabletop organization. Um, unfortunately, it's not working at the moment because there's progression in the non-progression res. <laughs> but hopefully when... Um... Yeah. Yeah, that is a, is a bit annoying. But you've got the block one for safe ones, haven't you? And... Uh... And a... Uh... You've got a block for safe blocks and a mighty blow for greedy blocks, don't you? So, like, if you're playing orcs, your mighty blow one goes to work. If you're playing elves or whatever, you use your block one. I think I'm still going to be greedy even with my blow here, why not? Got guard there. Yeah. Yeah, only show gain, yeah, exactly. So it's it's really good. I'm loving I'm loving that. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. 
Yeah, Jimmy and Rocks, what a fucking joke, eh? I mean, that's a pretty big loss at the start of the match, isn't it? And it's not even... And, like, sure, it, I mean, you know, like, I just got a... Like, I got a KO from dumb luck, but at least it's something... It's a player he chose to put on the line, and it's a player I chose to block with, and it's actually come from gameplay. I fucking hate Rocks like that. Holy shit. But at least it hasn't killed him permanently, which would be really annoying, wouldn't it? So it hasn't ruined the whole the whole team for us. Yeah, there's no stadium upgrades allowed. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't killed the team permanently. That's the biggest thing, isn't it? I mean, if this was in a like in a league, a scheduled league, you've just lost a guard, mighty blow a player through no fault of your own, no gameplay whatsoever. It's it's really fucking annoying. Whereas now it's just like, oh well, the game's got a bit tougher. It's not it's not the end of the world, is it? Nah, I, I just don't think it's possible, Vlaenic, with it being NAF official, you know? Um, with it being... Yeah, it's not NAF, that's sort of... There's no... You know, that's why that's why Brett's aren't allowed, because... There's no, there's no need to do anything that might be naughty, or whatever. Let's get caged up. Safe moves first. Don't know who to blitz. Maybe this guy. No, it's hard doing it with him being there. Maybe this guy. Fuck, this wolf's exposed. How did that happen? The wolf was meant to be the cage corner. Shit. The uh, guard needs to protect him, even though it lets the elf out. Yeah, well, what's gonna, what will happen, just Joe, is that the fan, f when Cyanide will fix the fan factor and SPP gain, so it'll be all right, yeah. Yeah, the legal reset when it's fixed, yeah. I don't know. I I guess that, I guess that they might just put them in tier one to make sure they're not overpowered. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would, I would put them in the same tier as humans. But I can't say what what the NAF would do. Yeah, just dealing with it for now and then it'll reset when it's uh when it's alright. Brett's overpowered. Yeah, you don't want Brett's to be overpowered, do you? You know, like, if you put them in tier... If you put them in tier 2 by default, like, you know... First of all, they're not even allowed, normally. They're not a real team. So, the BBRC, whenever they made new teams, purposefully tried to make them a bit shit. So, I think making them tier 1... And making sure they're not overpowered would be the first would be the first priority, wouldn't it? Um, could just blitz him with block, I guess.
protect the wolf protect the doggy is always a good always a good idea isn't it I guess you should try to get forward next turn Pretty tough though being men down to uh could just move him forward there. Get him get a fleshy behind enemy lines. I was gonna use him to hold the sideline, but getting him behind might be good, mightn't it? Let's go. Crazy thing, crazy idea. Yeah, I mean if it was up to me I don't know. You know, if it was up to me, I would I would think Brett should be tier two. Um, but I guess I would make them tier one just, and then you know, you could look at the stats, and if they win, if they don't win enough, then you could make them tier two. Canoring golem, yeah. First over double sixes. Um, is it on an ogre team? Probably blocked anyway. <laughs> Plymouth Argyle. No, at least he's regenerated. Well, because that's that's more dangerous, isn't it, Zansad? You know, you, you, you'd rather you'd rather aim low. Yeah, start low then move them up. Yeah, so I'd make them tier one to start with. You'd rather they underperformed than overperformed, wouldn't you? You'd rather tournaments weren't dominated by an unofficial team so the spoiler bug is not back no no there's no spoiler bug because you saw that didn't you you saw that av break you saw that armor they saw that cutscene didn't you wasn't there a cutscene there can't remember i wasn't really paying attention no I, i'm pretty sure the spoiler bug is is all right Right, can get the move down the sideline here. A little bit. There was no cutscene. I wasn't really paying attention. I thought there was. Blood step, sure hand, yeah, fend. Or, uh. Fend or kick off return. If that floats your boat. Yeah, tackle. Tackle's not bad. There is not corn demons, no. Corn demons are not enough official and it's not in Blood Bowl 2 anyway, so. It wasn't in the beta, I'm sure it wasn't. I don't know. Diving tackle, yeah, tackle or diving tackle. No, oh, but I mean, you could have him on defense, couldn't you? He's good on. He's good on defense, isn't he? So. Pro elves. They're probably the worst elf team, I would say. Pro Elves are not possibly the best team. Was, was Valenik talking about Necro, maybe? I don't know. 
Um, pro elves, I would say they're better than high elves. But um, I wouldn't say they're better than dark elves or wood elves. Elven Union. Nah. I, th I think they're better than high elves, but I think they're worse than dark elves and wood elves. That's just my opinion, though. Just my opinion. Right, this is uh, this is tough, isn't it? Can go in the middle, hopefully here with some knockdowns. Need a power ball on this little ship. They're both down. That will do just as good. Safe, probably. Got a blitz with block now, haven't I? Gotta be safe. But I mean, Pro Elves can be the worst elf team and still be one of the best teams overall, can't they? Just because elves are elves are the best teams. So Other people always blitz with their wolves and make the make the dodge. I always blitz with my wolves and fail the dodge and get injured and don't rage you. The, the thing is that to to my mind if you if you're going if you're going pro elves why wouldn't you just go wood elves that that's the thing it's like that, that that's the problem that i have with pro elves is why not just go wood elves and as amazing as pro elf blitzers are they're not fucking war dancers are they <laughs> you know so to me, to me, I, that's why I don't like Proyles. They don't, they don't bring anything to the table for me. And I know they've got cheaper, cheaper uh, linemen, and I know they've got, I know they've got, uh, you know, good catchers, but they're expensive. Hundred k without any real skills. Uh, but I also can start with three rolls as well. Three rolls as well. Can't I? Well, yeah, of course. But I mean, uh, no. But you know what I mean, though. Yeah, I mean, what I'm saying is, they don't bring anything to the table that other elves don't. That that's the thing, you know. Like when saying whether they're good or not, just from a purely competitive standpoint. Yeah, obviously, you know, people like people like things. You know, I'm not. I'm not I'm 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 only talking purely competitive standpoint in here, in regarding to whether they're powerful or not. That that's the thing, yeah. Obviously, people can play teams for loads of reasons. It seems unnecessary to keep reiterating that point, but yes, people can obviously play whatever they want and everything. Need a power in there, though. So he could just block by and then he dodges. Can he dodge? Oh god, that's horrible. So yeah, I have to block him. I have to get him out. Oh god. Hmm. <laughs> 
had to be in there. I guess I could have just gone here, four, five, six, seven, but it's crap. <laughs> oh yeah, flash binder. Yeah, exactly, Moradam, you know. Um <laughs> Yeah, ball and chain was it was really hard to it was really hard to work out where the where the fucking GFI rolls were happening and stuff. Yeah, I was only talking about competitively, you know, when you were talking because somebody was saying Are they any good? You know that was the thing, wasn't it? It did start by it did start by saying, What do you think of them competitively? Obviously people can like the uh can like the models and like the fluff and everything. But to me, for absolutely fully competitively, to me, there's no real point using pro elves over wood elves. But I mean, you could, uh, you could uh, get, you could get like, um, no, that was good, wasn't it? Just let him dominate me so much that eventually he'll uh, he'll make a roll and fail it. So how the fuck do I score here? I have to blitz him. He's got to score. He's got to be the scoring threat. He's got to surf him. Good. Not naming the players. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, why pick anything over what else? Yeah, that's very true, Sean. That's true. But the thing is... Well, okay, here's the, here's the thing then, Sean. Good question. Because lizard, lizard men play a bit differently. And undead play a bit differently. And pro elves are just basically the same but worse. And high elves are basically the same as pro elves but worse, kind of. And, but they're at least a little bit different. Because you might want better linemen but worse blitzers and catchers. So high elves and prowls are a little bit different, but if you're going AV7 cat, AV7 linemen, why not just go wood elves? That, that, that's the problem that I have with prowls. But anyway, yeah, Kemri aren't very decent. No, I mean they can they can cause problems against like against dwarves and chorfs and stuff. You know, pick Norse or what would that? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Dante Colors. Yeah, exactly. You want the passing game with Norse catchers, which, you know, look, to be fair, they are the best team at two turn touchdowns. Like, that's pretty much guaranteed that they're the best team with at two turn touchdowns, but, you know. Wood Elves are better at one turn touchdowns, aren't they? But yeah, I was only talking competitively when talking about the Pro Elves. I, I like the Pro Elves models. Obviously, I've used all the different teams. But, uh, you know, I, I, just, I just don't like it when people use the fun argument because, you know, if you if you... If you don't care how competitive it, it just doesn't matter, does it? Greed is right. You can use goblins or halflings, Greed but then you can works. still be competitive and use halflings. 
and try to do as well as you can with them. Or ogres. Roll the wad. Now it would have been a surf, wouldn't it, if he got the push? Did he use the push just to get a surf? No. no. Yeah, I think the challenges are all right, to be fair. It could have been better, the challenges. But particularly the uh, Blood Bowl Tactics ones weren't what they originally were. Block him, blitz him, hand off. Oh. Block him, block him. Blitz him, hand off. Alright. Haha, <laughs> double skull the first action. Fucking great guns. <laughs> I just don't care, Ronin man. I literally just don't care, so I haven't changed it. I never ever look at the percentage chances. Um, so just don't care. And I remember when Sir Ironclad discovered that you could have the dice rolls. Some people were like, oh my god, you can have what dice rolls, but I just really don't care. I know what everything's going to be unless I forget diving tackle. <laughs> I'm just, I just don't care. I mean, I guess I could change it as dice if everybody wants dice. Because it, it doesn't matter to me. Guess protect the wolf a little bit. Bit of a shit defense this, isn't it? Just loudly. Dice, percent, percent, percent. Two dice, three percent at the moment. Oh, three. Oh, oh my god, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this, this fucking game, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. No luck. My luck doesn't change in the NAF games.
Yeah, it's it's a fair question though, isn't it? Because he can get the free touchdown or he can stall out for one nil. So it is actually it's not an automatic answer, and I guess he's it's he's not going to take the free touchdown, which uh, which is probably better for me because at least I might not I might be able to win. Whereas if he took the free touchdown, I couldn't win. Whereas now there's still a chance of me winning, isn't there? Which is good. But I would have just scored if I was him. I think, and then you've at least you've at least drawn, haven't you? Whereas now he could still lose. Dice versus per percentage. Oh, good guy, Kogo. It's pretty close. Six votes each, straight away. There should have been a don't give a fuck option, to be fair. <laughs> so, so that I could vote. <laughs> and some people might not care, might they? And some people might desperately want percentage, and some people might desperately want dice. I don't know. Um, Alright. Glorious. Glorious. Thank you very much. Backyard Dodo for some of with Twitch Prime. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very much for the sub. Glorious. Just don't break his arm. That was a 4 plus touch. Armor broken. But still, it stops him running through if he wants. <laughs> How many passengers of the Norwegian job? Oh my god. Now that would be, that would be amazing, I don't know, Kevin. Percentage is heresy. No, right. But what's the point in a landslide? <laughs> Yeah, percent is more newbie for his friendly. That's a good pine path less taken. Yeah. No, but you know what I mean? <laughs> it was a 4 plus instead of 50%. I knew it. I knew it was. Well, thank you for the sub there. And yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I guess percentages are more newbie friendly, aren't they? Yeah, that's true. Right. Right, that's a that's a good point. Percentage is winning anyway, ten eight. Norwegian enjoys a hell of a meme, isn't it? Or may me if you fash. forward <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's crap that Fash doesn't stream anymore, isn't it? You should start streaming again. Old Fash. Right, he can GFI and get on both these guys. That's a good move, isn't it? He can block. He can GFI and get on both these guys. Wolf can blitz. Maybe do something. Can't read it now. Can't make it 
gear fine. Can't afford a reroll. <laughs> yeah, that's true, it don't guys. <laughs> he's, he's too busy playing cross out in real life. <laughs> Mad fash. <laughs> the drones I need to get in McDonald's. <laughs> it's objectively wrong, in my subjective opinion. <laughs> Brilliant. Nah, I don't know. I think it is a computer game at the end of the day, isn't it? And although it's based on a board game, percentages are uh, are easier for people, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that's true, that's true, to be fair. That's true. Oh, I don't know, I don't know what the answer is. I was going to GFI twice with this guy in last turn, but obviously can't. He's just going to stand up, fuck it. because I wanted to base the ball. There you go, you can already say I deserve to lose for that. But I think I was very unlucky with a thrown rock. And the uh, the dodge fail. I shouldn't have made the dodge though, I knew I shouldn't have made the dodge. It's just fucking dumb. I knew I'd fail and get cast. Taking more dice rolls, on, like more armor rolls on your wolves than you have to is just stupid. Every time people do it against me, I'm like, wow, you deserve to lose dodging with your fucking wolf. No, I did it, so that was a prick, shouldn't I, didn't it? Is he going to score here? Might get a draw of it if he does. Might be a bit of a risky stall if he doesn't. He's going for the stall. Yeah, Backyard Dodo, I've played it. I've played Tabletop Blood Bowl for 27 years. <laughs> yeah, 
It is easy. It, it probably is easier for new players. The percentage. Yeah, that's true, BCL. <laughs> that's fucking true, isn't it? <laughs> right. I still do have my minis, yeah, but they're in they're in they're in England. Um rather than in Germany with me. But Okay, Wolf. Wolfie McWolferson can't reach there. Shit. Yeah, there are, there's pictures of them about on the internet, floating around on the internet. There's pictures of my minis. Um, better to dodge out than make double GFIs, isn't it? Right, I'm all in for the five plus dodge into surf here. I'm all in. Didn't even get to surf him. How unlucky can you get? Knew I shouldn't have moved that last bastard. Fuck's sake. Um. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Base the ball. That was all right, wasn't it? All right, move there. I mean, it was all I could do. But. Guard actually pretty good there, wasn't it? I'll use a reroll here on this sequence. Oh, baby. Got the ball. He's got the ball. <laughs> He's got the ball. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not only the new players, but new players is what you have to think about the most, isn't it? I think. Because if they're not new, they know it's meant to be dice and everything. I think new, is the, new players are the most important one. For sure. Is he? I should say that, shouldn't I? Is he? You can't even reply because I'm muted. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Are you shitting me, Kurgol? Oh, I honestly hope Voodoo Mike dies. Not even, not even joking. His death would make Blood Bowl better, and I want Blood Bowl to be better. So. God. In other forms of competition. Hmm, not sure maybe we should do it. Voodoo Mike is wrong. Hey, he rolled a one. I mean he failed an eighty three percent chance. Yeah, 
that's true, that's true. I don't know, I don't know what the answer is. But the most important thing is new players, isn't it? That's the thing, that's the only thing that I know for sure. Hey, all right, good. Getting powered wasn't fun, but that was good. Right, he's got sure hands, so he can make the pickup, and he's faster. So he can get to there, and then three turns score. All right. In fact, you can go this way, because that's better. So use the blitz on him. Block him first. Just because it's irrelevant. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But now I know I can, I know I can cage here now. He wants to get up in front. He wants to also get up in front. He wants to blitz with block, doesn't he? He can go four to there. So he can go to here. So he doesn't want to move yet. So these two don't want to move, so they're in a better place if the ball fails to pick up. Oh, of course. Wow, I probably should have stood him up as well, but I was going to dodge him away at the end. Wow, that's pretty unlucky, isn't it? Failing the 1 in 9 pickup there. Alright, okay then. Herd of Mike isn't that bad. Okay. We should we should try another but ladder was non-progression in the beta ladder was non-progression so i don't know if they thought that was a bug that they fixed or whatever <laughs> hello pseudo me wow <laughs> what if i'm to play tabletop what are the percentage dice <laughs> <laughs> Get some percent. <gasps> oh man, how unlucky can you get? One in nine to pick up the ball and I'd have been off. Would have actually probably won. Shit. But yeah, maybe I should have stood him up. But I mean, it would have just been a two plus dodge away, which. With dodge, but me, yeah, maybe I should have done. Oh, I can't believe that one in nine. Oh, that is don't make much sense with no provision unless you're using team editor teams. Yeah. yeah, I mean the options are he could he could one dice him and then he could GFI to one D, but I think it's better to just go for the go for the dodge, isn't it? Do I want to get him in the end zone? I guess that's better than not. I'm just gonna make a new post on the forum so that Voodoo Mike isn't isn't the first reply to it. B 
because you've got to remember Voodoo Mike doesn't fucking play any play any games, so he might have just said uh, he might have just seen the the stats page that says that there's no star player points game. So. We have three people that want to play two games anyway, and then we can make a tournament and see if there's, see if that works. Or a round robin. Can you have a round robin with two people, or a tournament with two people? If there's three people that want to play two games right now, we can test a res. Or just could you could just concede. So if there's just three people that are on. That um, they just want to they just want to fucking see see what happens, but then concessions might be different. Oh, God. Should have moved in for first dice rolls a one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gotta be serious. If I could be serious for a minute. Ah, oh, right, you can put AI team in the Mulapur League. Ah, clever. Good for him. I guess I could try the one turn, eh? No reason not to. Just lost it without that. That hands pickup was the killer, wasn't it? Obviously got lucky to get the 5 plus dodging and everything before it, but still. Blitz in, pushing one forward. Block. There, pushing. One forward to there. So I have to get somebody in there first. Oh my God. And then push him out to there. Three forward, isn't it? Right, this might not be possible. <laughs> Every kickoff result has absolutely fucked my ass. <laughs> That's just, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? It's fucking unbelievable. <laughs> I knew I should have just not allowed kickoff results. You were. Yeah, I don't know if concessions will, will work or not. I guess I could just do it in here. But then somebody did concede, didn't they? No. I don't know. Yeah, Fashtastic League will have no. Now, do you know what? I'd still want to have them because they can... They can they're part of the game, aren't they? They are part of the game. The reroll winnings means you can get winnings as well. I don't know if he rerolled or not to get winnings with this. Should have done. Let's see for science. So, see, it says none, but they get them afterwards. <laughs> 